This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by GraphicStock.com. In the spirit of GraphicStock, hashtag creator to creator initiative, here is what I made using my GraphicStock subscription. The images that you see in this project are all from GraphicStock and the best part is that they have a subscription based service so you don't need to pay individually for each and every photo you download and all the stuff that you download is gonna be yours forever and of course you can use it in your YouTube videos, your commercial projects without getting any copyright strikes you know you don't need to worry about any copyright problems as they are all 100% royalty free. So make sure to check out the link in the description below and get a free 7 days trial of graphic stock and get access to unlimited downloads of more than 300,000 graphics, photos, vectors and more. So create something really cool and interesting and share it with hashtag creator to creator. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really nice, simple and elegant looking business presentation animation in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating our main composition and rename this to main. 1920 let's make it up HDTV 1080p let's make this let's go with 60 FPS and let's make this 10 seconds long should be good enough and hit OK then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new composition for our media so this is gonna be the media placeholder and here we can drag in an image or a video if you have you can drag in anything of course that you have I'm gonna use an image from graphic stock so I'm just gonna drag it just like that now it's fairly big so let's scale this down pretty quick somewhere around there maybe let's keep it right over there then go into our main composition and drag in this media comp that we created just like that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an overlay for this media so let's hit Control Y to create a new solid and let's rename this to overlay and hit OK. Let's add a color pretty quick by adding a fill to it. So let's add a fill effect and maybe I'll make it something like a blue just like that. Make sure it's in the center as well as the media is in the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just decrease the opacity down to around let's go with 80 percent yep that looks pretty good and let's go to two seconds create a keyframe select both the layers hit P to bring down the position properties and create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch go back in time at the very beginning and just drag it down just like that then select the keyframes and hit F9 to ease those keyframes. Go to graph editor. And if your graph editor doesn't look like this, make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and not in the edit value graph. So let's select this and let's drag this handle by holding shift just to be a bit more precise, just like that. Make a curve which looks something like that, which gives a really nice and subtle animation. As you can see, looks really, really cool. Now what I can do is let's type in an alphabet or a number anything that you want to go with so I'm gonna go with a G alphabet you can of course go with anything that you want it can be your name your favorite alphabet or, or your number or anything that you like so let's keep it somewhere around there and let's change the font to Big John there we go you can of course use any font that you like let's make this a bit more big all the way maybe something like that depends on what kind of look you're going for I think this looks pretty good so yep I'll go with this one and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the media composition by hitting ctrl D on the keyboard let's change the color so we can see it even more properly so let's change it to aqua bring on the top of the G text and just place this below the text and change the media track mat to alpha mat so now you can see the image is gonna gonna get revealed just from the text just like that and of course you can change the placement of the media according to your requirements or maybe something like that 
and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to let's say maybe 3 second and 30 frames create a keyframe on the position property so we don't need the this is the before position property that we previously created so we can just you know delete this something like that and let's create a keyframe go back in time to around two seconds and let's drag this just like that so let's select the keyframes hit f9 to ease, ease those keyframes go to graph edit and the same exact thing like we did before so like that and now we have something like this really simple and easy to create and the cool part is that you can anytime go into the text and change it to any alphabet that you like it can be an a or a text or anything that you want to go with so it's a really cool thing to you know go with let's hit control z i'm going to stick with this g alphabet and then we can go ahead and start typing our text oh before typing in text what, one more cool thing that you can do is if i just select the text layer hit control d to duplicate it okay turn this on and we don't need the oh, oh maybe i can do is i can right click and convert this into shapes from text so we have a shape layer we can delete this text layer so now we have the shape g shape so let's rename it to g shape just like that we don't need the fill so i'm gonna set this to none we just need the stroke so i'm gonna increase the stroke just like that so maybe around let's go with 10 and i can scale or maybe i'll increase the size of the g so let's or maybe i'll just need to scale this up pretty quick so let's make sure the anchor point is in the center and scale this up just like that we get something like that or maybe i think i'll go with something like that this looks even more better so let's pretty quickly add a trim part to this and now we can animate the stroke just like that which looks really really cool as you can see so maybe i'll go to around i'll go to two seconds let's bring this down to zero create a keyframe go to around four seconds maybe and set this up to 100 select the keyframes hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go to graph editor and this time i'm going to create a peak in the center so the animation is going to start smoothly then it's going to be a bit fast and then end smoothly so let's see our animation so far so yep this is looking pretty good maybe i'll displace this or display the keyframe i want this to begin even more maybe i'll go with somewhere around there and let's go for one second and let's drag them a bit ahead because i want the stroke to start animating before the you know the image comes in just like that that looks really really cool also one more thing i'm gonna add a little bit of scaling animation to the background overlay image media comp so let's create a keyframe on the scale go to all the way up to maybe around six seconds and scale this up to 110 i guess looks good maybe let's see what we have yep that is looking pretty good but you can see we didn't scale the overlay so it's gonna give this kind of artifact so let's pretty quickly copy this keyframes hit ctrl c go at the very beginning and hit ctrl v to paste the keyframes on the overlay as well so now we have a perfect animation as you can see looks really really cool Alright, so now we can go ahead and start adding our text. So I'm going to type in, select the text tool and you can type in, of course, anything that you want. So I'm going to go with, let's say I'll type in, let's first of all make this a bit small and type in maybe global, global, I think I'll go with the same one that I, before in the example, so global, duplicate this, control D business guide there we go and i'm going to change the font to a unisans so let's select the layer let's type in unisans you can of course select any any font that you want maybe i'll go with a let's go with a semi bold or maybe let's go with a heavy and there we go 
we will scale this down a bit just like that maybe a bit close yep that looks pretty good and i can turn on the title action safe just like that just to be a bit more precise and select the font or the text layers not the font and let's position them according to your requirements i'm going to position them somewhere around there let's bring this down a bit close just like that and we can turn on the title action safe and then what i can do is let's see where is the animations to start so maybe around i'll go with i'll go to four seconds select the layers and hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back in time to three seconds and let's drag them out just like that and we can always select them and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go to graph editor and create a curve like that so let's see what we have our text looking really nice maybe i'll make it to around four second and 30 frames yep that looks even more cool and one more thing that i can do is I can displace the text just to give it a little more a little bit more randomness so I can select the keyframes of the second layer or the second text and let's displace them a bit so we have a little bit of you can see that pretty nice displacement as you can see I don't think that is looking pretty good maybe I'll displace this one a bit so let's yep that is looking pretty good and to add a bit more accent I can add some rectangles just to add a little bit more accent to it so create a rectangle shape layer something like that we don't need the stroke we need the fill let's make this white and let's scale this down a bit maybe I'll, I'll just unlink this and scale it around somewhere around there maybe something like that let's turn on the title action safe and place it to the position that we want so I'm gonna use my arrow keys place it in the position somewhat like that or maybe I'll place it somewhere around here it's totally up to you I'm just doing it pretty randomly I'm just gonna place it somewhere around there and then what I can do is I can select this for the shape layers and parent them to the second text layer just like that so now we have something like that and yep that looks really really cool as you can see let's close this up and let's see our animation so far yep that is looking pretty good i think the stroke animation is a bit too fast so maybe i'll go into you right away here and hit u so you can see the keyframes and let's drag them just like that to around four seconds yep that looks a bit more better and the last thing that i'm gonna add is the website or the company's name that you can say so let's create a rectangle just like that you don't need to fill this time so unlink this or unfill this not unlink it and let's increase the stroke to around really minimal maybe five pixels and add a trim path and let's place it in the position that we want so turn on the title action save to be a bit more precise let's place it somewhere around there and let's animate the trim path just like we did for the stroke of the text the shape the g shape so let's animate this pretty quick so let's say i'll start this from four seconds maybe pretty keyframe on the end property and the offset let's go to five second let's bring this up and set this to 45 so now we have a really nice animation stroke animation so let's hit f9 to ease, ease those keyframes go to graph editor and create a curve like that so as you can see looks really really good and the last thing that i'm going to do is add the website of your company it can be anything i'm going to go with dopemotions.com so type in and let's select a really minimal font something like a unisans light or maybe a unisans book oh let's go with a unisans book and let's scale this down a bit something like that position accurately using the arrow keys just like that there we go 
Maybe I don't think this is looking pretty good, so I'll go with a semi bold. Maybe let's go with a semi bold and make it small and just increase the spaces just like that. Yep, this is looking better, and then we can animate this as well according to your requirements. So I'm gonna anima animate it, or maybe what I can do is I can parent this with the global text so let's select this and parent this to the first text that is global and let's see what we have yep as you can see looks really really good maybe i'll display the animation of the stroke a bit so that it doesn't overlap the text here we have it looks really really cool so it's really simple and easy to create and you can create a number of really cool presentation you can use a different you know different text or number anything you can always you know switch it up like that and yep that is a wrap for today i hope this video helps you guys and if it does make sure to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative